a non-profit film production that will produce movies by women, about women, but dedicated to everyone. It's an organization that recognized a serious problem in our industry and is determined to do something about it. The great thing about We Do It Together is that it's a non-profit organization and every movie that they make, you know, about women, by women, directed by women, they're going to take the money and put it back into making another movie directed by a woman, a woman's story. So it's a great new model, you know, for supporting female voices. Feminine has to have its place. It's very, it's an energy that is different, but it, la it, it needs space and we don't have the space we need in order to express it. So the best way is to take it. The empowerment between women also, between, you know, human beings in, in, around this, uh, this subject and this context, I think that's, that's kind of an important thing to... You have to fight for people to believe in you and to follow you. It's not about learning, it's about unlearning. Yeah. And I think teaching society or teaching your boss, and yes, it's, it's a male-dominant workplace society. It just, it always has been. The only thing that separates women of color from anyone else is opportunity. We intend to put action in front of words. The lack of women behind the camera, it's like in Hollywood, something like 5%. The film industry is an incredible group of people. And we've realized that there's a huge problem and that we need more diversity. We're not telling the stories of many, we're telling the stories of few. Uh, the ratio of male to female characters has been exactly the same since 1946. So all the times that um, the media wants us to believe that things have improved, uh, it really hasn't if you look at the numbers. The figures revealed by the Women's Media Center in New York showed that across a five-year period ending in the year 2012, of the 500 top grossing movies, only two of those had black women directors attached to them. The next generation of young boys and girls, you can really shape the way they think about girls and women. If we keep feeding the role of the woman as an object, then most likely we will treat the woman as an object.